G'day everyone, uh, my name is Nick Bowditch. Uh, today I just want to talk about gifts and the gifts that sometimes come through hardship or adversity or are sometimes born of our own resilience. Um, uh, sort of quite like, like in, in therapy terms, sometimes people refer to these things as the gifts wrapped in shit. They're the things that you have to peel away all of the all the crap from, all the hardship from, and then there they are, these amazing things. And I want to just talk about two today, or two things today, which has kind of reminded me of the gifts that I've been given by having to live with some things that I otherwise might not have chosen to live with. A few years ago, I did, my TED talk was entitled uh, "My Mental Illness as a Gift," and I think a lot of those themes are still really appropriate but the one thing that, that is the biggest thing that's come out of this for me is the gift of knowing really knowing who my friends are you know the people who take you at your worst the people who show up for you even though you might have let them down before my you might have let them down a hundred times before and they still show up for you those those people are friends. Those people are actually really and truly your friends. You know, and I've been gifted again this week with the with the knowledge or the awareness of of who my friends are because I've had a rough week. I've had a I've had a shit week. Some weeks are shit, some days are shit. And uh, some are not, and I have lots and lots and lots and lots of those. And this week's just been a bit hard. And when I've really, really needed that, I've been gifted again with the awareness of who my actual real friends are. And a few people have really reached out to me this week and just shown me an amazing kindness, um, an amazing level of kindness and understanding and empathy that if they weren't real friends, they certainly wouldn't have. And and I've I've experienced that as well. I've lived through the awareness and the revelation that some people who I thought were my friends were certainly not. So I just think, you know, the, the adversity just peels that stuff away and reveals who, who your real friends are, reveals who these people are. And that's something I've absolutely been gifted again this week and I'm really grateful for. I, but the second thing that also comes out of that is the gift that I've been given to know that I don't have to call those people out. I don't have to give them a shout out. I don't have to say who they are. I don't have to do any of those things because the other gift that my, another gift that my mental illness has given me is the gift to be able to tell people that I love them. The gift to be able to tell people what they mean to me, what they've done for me, how they've helped change my life. All of those things that sometimes might remain unsaid um, before, but I, I absolutely have no trouble <laughs> telling people who I love, who are in my life, who I love, that I love them, that I'm grateful for them, that I need them, that I am glad I'm connected with them and interconnected with them, um, which I've also been able to do this week and... and I don't think I can do that enough. I don't think you can do it too much. Um, kindness wins. There's no doubt about that in my life. And uh, and this week, when I've needed it the most, I've been shown amazing kindness by my friends. And then I've been able to tell those people, again, how much they mean to me, that I love them. And that's an amazing gift that's been given to me through adversity through through my own resilience and that's something I can celebrate for myself so here's my little challenge for you firstly do you know who your friends are, are the, the, and those friends who have stuck through you through all of the shit through all of the hardship through all of the downsides through all of you showing your humanity <laughs> to the world that they've stuck around they've stuck with you but then my other challenge is maybe have you told them? Do they know? Because life's too short not to tell them and for them to wonder. 
I hope you have shown some kindness to someone else today. And hopefully more than that, I hope someone has shown some kindness to you. And I hope you're having a great Friday, wherever you are in the world. Um, my, I have a, a saying that I say to myself a lot, and it's tomorrow will be better. Well, I'm hoping next week will be better. I'm sure it will be. Um, thank you again to everyone who's reached out to me this week and shown me some kindness. It's, it, it doesn't go unnoticed, and um, yeah, it's never misspent. See ya.